Okay, so students, in the last session, we have already started with six box model, uh, which is a framework developed by an American analyst, Mr. Marvin Weisbord. And according to him, he states that this six core areas or key areas, you know, the company should be very careful and that the things must go right. Okay, and uh, I think we were about to start with those areas. I'm sharing the screen. Uh, just a... morning, ma'am. Good morning, Farhan. How are you now? Farhan was not good with health. Na, ki koi aur tha student jisne meko message kiya tha. I'm not good with health. Don't remember. Yes. Okay. I hope the screen is visible. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm fine. Okay, Farhan. Take care. All right, guys. So we begin with this answer. Aditya is also joined in. Okay. Six box model is comprising of the following components in the last session we have already discussed that it is about this model is about how to you know enhance the organization effectiveness okay i also gave you the meaning about effectiveness and efficiency so if i am uh, you know for example if a particular teacher is taking two lectures to complete one answer but that one answer is understood by all the students we call it as effective Okay, that this session was effective because it has served the purpose. Okay, students understood the answer, they got the concept. Okay, on the other hand, if there is a particular teacher who is able to complete two to three questions in one lecture, you call it efficient. Efficient, yani kya? Come time mein aap maximum complete kar pa rahe ho. Okay, every company has to uh, be effective as well as efficient. Be efficient because it has to manage the cost and effective because it has to sustain in the market. So you have to think, you have to be very effective. Every time you just cannot be running behind the cost factor. So this particular theory or model is, uh, you know, outlining a framework for a company to become more effective. Okay. And then um, these are the six core areas that uh, the model has identified. Let us begin with uh, the first one, which is purposes. Okay, who's going to read that? Please start. Purposes. What business are we in? Yeah, I think uh, the six box model is... Uh, having the following components point number one is purposes i think it's extremely important for the company and for the employees to know that what business you are in okay many a times it so happens that you know the employee is not having the complete clarity about what the company is into okay so you need to first understand that there should be a clarity about what business you are in can you see how many students are entering now? I have to again and again change the screen. Guys, please come on time. Yeah? It becomes very difficult for me to constantly uh, switch the screen. Okay. So point number one is purpose. What, business, what businesses are we in? Okay. I think uh, uh, you should know the core purpose of the company. I think uh, it, it would be equally beneficial if your employees are aware about your company's philosophy and ideologies okay agar aapka aapke company ke bare mein pata hai ki aap kya kaun se business mein aap operate karte ho kaun se kaun se businesses mein aap present ho okay i think this this will have a long term benefit so point number 1 is purposes everybody should know the purpose of the existence of the company okay and then second one is structure how do we divide up the work i think uh, you already know and you have studied in principles of management there are three types of organization structure okay line management line and staff organization okay and third one is matrix 
करके सो स्ट्रक्चर मीन्स वॉट इज द रिलेशनशिप दैट एग्जिस्ट विद इन द कंपनी हाउ पीपल आर डिवाइडेड एंड वॉट आर द लेवल ऑफ हेरार सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द कंपनी देर इज टॉप मैनेजमेंट देन देर इज डिपार्टमेंटल मैनेजर देर इज ऑपरेशनल मैनेजर देर इज अ टीम लीडर देर इज अः असिस्टेंट टीम लीडर एंड देन देर आर एग्जीक्यूटिव देर आर वर्कर्स सो दिस इज दिस इज हाउ द वर्क इज डिवाइडेड I think the basics of uh, principles of management में आपने ये भी सीखा है यू नो द मोर यू नो अबाउट अथॉरिटी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ओके द मोर इजी इट बिकम्स टू ऑपरेट ओके तो पता होना चाहिए ना कि हाउ द वर्क इज डिवाइडेड अमंग दी पीपल सो फर्स्ट वन इज पर्पज वॉट बिजनेस वी आर इन स्ट्रक्चर हाउ दी वर्क इज डिवाइडेड पॉइंट नंबर थ्री relationships how do we manage conflict among people with our technologies okay um then comes relationships of course uh, you already know in a company there exists a formal relationship and informal relationship okay so in formal and informal relationship one needs to understand um there might be time where you know there will be conflict amongst people not necessary that two intelligent people might not have conflict aisa nahi hai dono ka view point point of view different ho sakta hai na there are chances of conflict amongst two intelligent people also okay and just for just for saying like that ho sakta hai main aur samjho main ek hamesha ek hi tarike se sochte but does not mean that there is no chances of conflict at all there there will come, there will come be a point where ho sakta hai, hamare beech mein conflicts ho sakta hai, right so I think uh, relationships should be well defined and there should be a proper mechanism on how to manage the conflicts amongst people okay or if there is any conflict because of technology or because of the system what kind of mechanism you are having ये okay, mechanism मतलब किस तरीके से आप उस conflict को handle कर रहे हो so that that should be very clear the next one is rewards is there any incentive for doing all that need doing ah i think uh, extremely important because if your employees are not getting a desired uh, returns in context to extra incentives um they would not want to put in that extra efforts okay so rewards should be you know a area where company should make sure that it is having a you know clear and good policy that uh, those who are contributing should be well rewarded and then next one is leadership if someone keeping the boxes in balance i uh, i think this is a central and the core area that there should be a good leader who is leading the entire organization who is trying to balance uh, you know all the boxes okay all the remaining boxes are well balanced okay, a good leader is someone who is uh, not just you know um, guiding the employees or in or taking initiatives a good leader is someone who is amongst the employee okay someone who is a down to earth person who would understand the employee on the ground level okay if they are uh, ground difficulties and uh, importantly someone who is approachable ek acha leader in a well accepted hona chahiye agar wo well accepted hi nahi hai to uh, no one is going to you know follow him so is there someone in the company who is trying to keep a balance or is trying to strike a balance amongst the other boxes is the next component and the last one is helpful mechanism do we have adequate coordinating technologies yes i think the biggest question is uh, uh, how the company is operating its routine affairs okay it's normal working are there any uh, you know helpful mechanism any system any uh, you know resources which is helping the employee at the time when they uh, need this resources okay and how is this resources helpful Okay. So there can be different softwares. There can be different system being introduced. Okay, which is helping the employee. So helping or helpful mechanisms which uh, will make the routine work uh, more smooth and easy. 
So these are those six areas or components according to the six box model uh, where the company should always do right. Okay, shouldn't compromise. And if you have heard of this, if you haven't heard of this, there's a concept called TQM, Total Quality Management. You are going to study in this particular subject as well. It is a Japanese concept, okay, which, ha which is having a Kaizen approach. Uh, you know what is Kaizen approach? Students, you have heard the term Kaizen approach. K-A-I-Z-E-N, Kaizen approach. Have you ever come across this term? No? Okay. Uh, Kaizen approach means slow improvement, but improvement should be there. Even if it is a slight improvement. For example, yesterday you have studied for like two hours and today you have studied for two hours and 20 minutes. Okay. There is no great difference. After 20 minutes, he extra padai kiya hai. Like in that 20 minutes is more, is an improvement, is a sign of improvement. Okay. So Kaizen approach means slowly improving, but only improving, not deteriorating. Okay, so these are the six areas where the company should try to bring total quality management. Okay, now in the coming answer, you will have uh, individual component being discussed in detail. Okay, in the coming answer means in the next page. So what I have already discussed, we have to point wise, um, one by one, we will uh, refer. We'll have a very quick reading and try to complete the answer in this session. Purposes, point number one. All right. It is a very important to understand the purpose of conducting business. One should know the appropriateness of the organizational goal and its clarity to provide the guidance to its members. One should also understand the extent to which the organization members share the organization goals. The two most important factors here are Goal clarity, the extent to which organization members are clear about the organization's mission and purpose. Second is goal agreement, people support to the organizational purpose. Yes, I think I have already elaborated in my explanation. Purposes, which means everybody should know why the company exists, what business the company is into, and what is the philosophy and ideology of the company. Apart from that, two important factors, which is goal clarity. Every employee should have the clarity of goals. Sabko pata hona chahiye ki company kaun se direction mein ja rahi hai, what the company is now and what the company intends to achieve in the future. Aage company kya achieve karna chahti hai. Okay. And then point number B, goal agreement, which means all the employees should happily and readily support the organization's purpose. Okay. I think this can be more uh, filtered during the time of interviews. When you hire a new employee ko ya candidate, ko hire kar rahe ho na, to us time pe clarity de do. Okay, okay, this is uh, what the company has, its goal, okay, and goal agreement, yani ki appointment letter mein aap uh, clearly mention kar do, you know, this is what we want our employees to, you know, certainly agree on, okay, that uh, we require the support for the company to grow, okay, so goal agreement. Agar aapke employees aapko agree nahi karte, if they do not agree to your goals or if they find your goals are unrealistic or if they doubt about your, you know, company's direction, I don't think so those employees are going to be useful to me, you know. So, aise employees, uh, jin ko aapke company ke upar belief nahi hai, unko hire karke meaning nahi hai. Okay, you should always make sure that you have people who are in support to you, not against you. Okay, so that is point number one, which is purposes. Every employee should know the purpose of the company, its existence, his businesses may have present here. I hope there is no difficulty in point number one. No, ma'am. Okay, all right. So moving on to point number two, which is structure. Uh, all right, Mehek. 
In order to have an appropriate structure, one should draw organization chart to determine the project or program. Structure is made to access the rate of change of the environment, technology, departments, and list the issues of formal and informal systems. Such structure helps to identify the continuous symptoms of change. The basic concern here is whether there is an adequate fit between the purpose and the internal structure that is supposed to serve that purpose okay i think very well explained in the textbook that uh, one should draw the organization chart okay i think uh, hierarchy levels i'm i'm very sure aapne dekha bhi hoga bahut sare uh, companies mein you know lobby area mein ya fir um you know when you enter the organization they have this big chart okay mentioning who is the director who is the ceo who is a production manager okay which is giving a very clear idea to you ki whom are you supposed to report to if you have certain concern now for example i am a uh, an employee working in marketing team okay and mujhe product features se related koi doubt hai so of course i have to report it to the production department but i should know na who is the production manager okay and that structure should be well defined whom to report whom to ask whom to you know identify is is something which every employee should know in fact outsiders also when they are coming into the company okay wo chart dekh ke samajh mein aa jana chahiye ki kya level of hierarchy hai and how the work is divided and what kind of structure the company has okay let me tell you students since you all are from you know hr specialization i'm so sorry too many levels should be avoided and too less levels should be also avoided bahut sare layers rakhoge na hierarchy mein for example main aapko general example ke help se samjhane ki koshish karti hu classroom mein ek cr do cr kafi ho gaya okay lekin agar aap bahut sara level of hierarchy banaoge jaise ki study group leader fir class assistant cr cr then class teacher फिर क्लास सेकेंड क्लास टीचर देन कोऑर्डिनेटर ऐसा अगर आप बहुत सारे लेयर्स बनाओगे ना तो देर विल बी अलॉट योर वर्क विल बी इंटरप्टेड कंपनी में इतने सारे लेवल्स ऑफ है सूटेबल नहीं होता है कि एम्प्लॉय टीम लीडर मैनेजर ऐसा होना चाहिए बहुत सारी कंपनीज में क्या होता है जूनियर एग्जीक्यूटिव सीनियर एग्जीक्यूटिव असिस्टेंट टीम लीडर टीम लीडर असिस्टेंट मैनेजर मैनेजर and then production departmental manager then operational manager assistant operational manager itne sare layers honge agar to aapko pata hai kisi bhi kaam ke liye aapko na approval lena padta hai aapke immediate boss se right so kitna time chala jayega if you have too many level of hierarchies to aapke company ka structure jo hai na wo clearly aap kahin par display karo proper organization chart which will help the employees to understand ki bhai kaun kaise level of hierarchy mein hai kya project chal raha hai aur kis program se hum log aage badh rahe hain okay the more the things are visible to your people the more they become effective when they are working ओके एंड देन अगर ये स्ट्रक्चर में कुछ बदलाव हो रहा है प्रोजेक्ट में कुछ चेंजेस आ रहा है तो फॉर एग्जांपल गवर्नमेंट ने कुछ पैंडेमिक के चलते कुछ चीजों के अंदर चेंजेस इंट्रोड्यूस किया है तो आप वो स्ट्रक्चर में मेंशन करो वेयर आर दो चेंजेस व्हिच इज यू नो व्हिच इज अराइव बिकॉज ऑफ दिस सडन पैंडेमिक ओके तो अगर आप वो सारा मैंशन करोगे तो एम्प्लॉयज को समझ में आएगा कि क्या uh, चेंजेस कंपनी ने इंट्रोड्यूस किया है आई थिंक दिस द मोर थिंग्स आर विजिबल द मोर थिंग्स आर इफेक्टिव अगर आप मेंटल सिंपल एग्जांपल अगर आप एग्जाम्स के प्रिपरेशन के लिए मेंटल टाइम टेबल बनाते हो कि मेरे पास बीस दिन है बीस दिन में मैं चार यूनिट पढ़ना है मैं दस दिन में मेरे को किसी तरह दो यूनिट फिनिश करना होगा Okay, तो वो आप इतना इफेक्टिव नहीं होगा वही जब आप एक स्ट्रक्चर बनाते हो डिवाइड करते हो ट्वेंटी डेज को यूनिट वाइज चैप्टर वाइज ओके इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू अचीव द टारगेट तो सिमिलरली कंपनी में भी वेल डिफाइंड स्ट्रक्चर होना चाहिए जहाँ पे क्लियरली प्रोग्राम एंड प्रोजेक्ट इंडिकेशन हो कुछ चेंजेस इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ है तो वो मैं विच विल गिव द एम्प्लॉय मोर क्लैरिटी अबाउट दर वर्किंग सो दिस इज हाउ you will be able to you know uh bring a lot of organization effectiveness i hope there is no difficulty in the point of structure 
No land. Okay. All right. We will take one more point and then possibly we stop, which is relationships. Okay. It's a very lengthy point. All right. Meg, you can start. To access the quality of relationship between the organization members, peers and managers of staff, units executing different tasks, people and their technologies, system equipment and methods are assessed. The diagnosis take into account two factors such as the level of interdependence and the degree of built-in conflicts in relationship. When interdependence is high and quality of relationship is poor, No mode of conflict management is sufficient. Members are required to experiment with new communication styles. With okay, okay, before one minute, before we proceed to the new paragraph, let us first understand the first paragraph, relationships. That means people who are working in the company, what kind of uh, uh, relationships they have, formal, informal, whether they are cooperative, how uh, what is the degree of professional approach um, among the members? Okay, and what is the degree of interdependence? Interdependence means if I have to work, then I have to complete task complete my work. I need to be dependent on uh, different employees from different departments. That is called as a degree of interdependence. Okay, do I have to depend too much on them or do I have to depend too less on them? Okay, so if the degree of interdependence is more, which will Okay, every company you need to understand one thing that wherever you are working, you are not going to work in isolation. You are going to work in a team. Okay, and not just your department. You are going to work in team with the other department because you will be interdependent on them. Okay, if you have interdependence, zada hai, okay, or relationships poor hai, matlab, marketing wale log sirf marketing ke hi zada time spend karte hai, they barely talk to production people or finance people or HR people. Okay, if you have a relationship or interdependence, hai, to conflict management is very difficult. Hoga. Correct, na? because you have a conflict in your own way. And if it happens, the conflict will resolve a lot of time. Because people are not having good relationships. Good relationships or poor relationships, as you use the term. Okay? So if people are not having cordial relation, conflict management is going to be very time consuming. Okay? And this is... Uh, how uh, you know the company's effectiveness will get affected. Let us not forget how we model to study how to enhance and how to improve the organization effectiveness. And sometimes now it is very important that you um you know you kind of encourage informal relationships within the company and uh, also try to you know bring something that uh, will make the employees uh, talk to each other or uh, to you know integrate with the other department aap aisa koi training sessions conduct karo jahan pe sare employees ikatthe mil rahe hain okay this is how you bring closeness in them take them for a picnic do some informal gatherings in the company this is how they are going to interact with other department i tell you there are some companies usme kya hota hai pata hai ek particular department ka employee dusre department se saalo tak baat nahi karte unko maloom bhi nahi hota hai ki wo us company mein bhi kaam kar rahe hain Okay, this has happened. Okay, such kind of things have I've heard about such kind of cases. But like in our modern company, you can't approach me except you have to put any who the person is, okay, which department he's working for. No, you, you should know at least key people, at least important people. You have to put on a key up your organization. We can't come by there. So you should have a good relationship amongst uh, amongst your you know team members as well as uh, employees from the other department. Uh, I think cordial relationship or aisa relationship jahan pe coexist karne mein difficulty nahi hai. You know what is coexist? Uh, anyone can help me with the meaning of coexist? नहीं अच्छा अभी ध्यान से सुनो um, coexist मतलब when I am in the competition for instance I and Mehak are working together and uh, हम दोनों एक दूसरे के बहुत uh, you know strong competitor है okay and we work in the same department our work is evaluated and our bosses are continuously monitoring our performance 
तो क्योंकि हमारे दोनों बीच में कंपटीशन है डू यू थिंक दैट हमें कुछ अनथिकल करना चाहिए सरवाइव करने के लिए अनथिकल करना चाहिए सरवाइव करने के लिए ओके तो मैं और मह क्या करेंगे यू नो व्हेन वी आर इन द कंपटीशन आई थिंक मुझे है ना इतना भी डिफिकल्ट नहीं बनाना है महक के लिए या महक को इतना भी डिफिकल्ट नहीं बनाना है मेरे लिए दैट इज कॉल्ड एज को एक्सिस्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज गिविंग स्पेस टू इच अदर वेर देर आर हैप्पी कॉम्पिटिशन हेल्थी कॉम्पिटिशन दैट एग्जिस्ट ओके उसे बोलते हैं को एग्जिस्ट करना आप एक ही कंपनी में काम कर सकते हो कंपटीशन में भी रह सकते हो और उसके बावजूद अच्छे रिलेशनशिप में भी रह सकते हो <coughs> और उसके बावजूद भी आप अच्छे रिलेशनशिप में भी रह सकते हो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज को एक्सिस्ट आई होप यू गॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ को एक्सिस्ट यस ओके सो आई थिंक रिलेशनशिप्स पॉइंट और इट सेज दैट एम्प्लॉय शुड हैप्पीली को एक्सिस्ट एंड conflict management uh, uh, will only happen nicely if if people share good relationships all right let us take the next paragraph okay mahak with respect to relationship wise board is one of the opinion that three types are most important between individuals between units or departments that perform different tasks and between the people and the nature and requirement of their jobs he also stated that the od consultant should diagnose first for required interdependence then for quality of relations and finally for modes of conflict management okay so wise board is uh, uh, stating that you know uh there are three most important uh, uh three types and are most important relationships which exist so between individuals between means between two people between units or department matlab one department versus another department and between the people and the nature and requirement of the job okay so that means i and how much i'm interdependent on someone else okay so he is suggesting ki organizational development consultant yani agar aapke company ke organization ko effective banane ke liye agar koi expert aapko advice de raha hai to usse sabse pehle kya diagnose karna hoga ki level of interdependence kya hai क्या कोई डिपार्टमेंट विदाउट मच इंटरडिपेंडेंस भी स्मूथली काम कर सकता है या नहीं ओके सो फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई द लेवल ऑफ इंटर इंटरडिपेंडेंस एंड देन अंडरस्टैंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ रिलेशन हाउ पीपल आर ओके वेदर दे आर कोऑपरेटिव वेदर दे हैप्पीली को एग्जिस्ट वेदर दे आर कॉर्डियल इन नेचर कैसे है वो वो आप डिफाइन करेंगे एंड फाइनली डिसाइड द मोड ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मैनेजमेंट तो आप एडवांस में ही डिसाइड करके रखो बेस्ड ऑन द काइंड ऑफ रिलेशन पीपल शेयर क्वालिटी ऑफ रिलेशन पीपल शेयर कि आप कैसे इनके बीच में अगर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट होगा तो उसे कैसे आप रिजोल्व करोगे सो दिस इज हाउ माई थर्ड कॉम्पोनेंट इज एक्सप्लेन रिलेशनशिप आई होप देर इज नो डिफिकल्ट इन दी आंसर नो मैम क्या स्टडी कर रहे हो आप सभी ओके व्हाट आर यू स्टडिंग सिक्स बॉक्स मॉडल ओके या व्हिच इज अबाउट डिटरमाइनिंग द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफेक्टिवनेस एंड मेकिंग द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफेक्टिव ऑफ कोर्स इट्स एन अमेरिकन एनालिस्ट मोर सूटेबल फॉर यूएस बेस्ड कंपनीज हाउएवर दिस दिस इज अ वेरी generalized model and applicable to almost any size of the company and any organization so amongst the six different areas we have already completed three of them first one was purposes second one was structure and the third one was relationships i think we stop here for the day i'm so sorry for my throat infection and we continue in the next class any questions to me no ma'am no ma'am all right no ma'am okay all right so i see you soon in the next class you all have a nice day ahead and i have been continuous <coughs> so sorry 
I've been continuously seeing the messages in the group. I hope you guys are filling your examination forms on time. Please don't delay it because uh, then uh, it will be a problem. So make sure that you fill your examination form on time. ऐसा कोई है जो pending है तो please जाके fill कर दो and uh, kindly send reminders to your classmates. There are many of them who are becoming ghosts. भूत बन गए वो लोग आई नहीं रहे lecture में तो उनको कैसे मालूम पड़ेगा what is happening? Okay, so just inform them uh, about um, examination form filling. and uh, get the work done i hope the uh, student group leader is doing their uh, duty well all right guys i meet you soon in the next class till then you take care of yourself and have a nice thank day you, thank you ma'am okay. have a nice day thank you ma'am have a nice day